Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and today I'm here to give you my TBR for the Fantasy-a-thon. The Fantasy-a-thon is a readathon that runs from April 5th to April 15th. This readathon is being hosted by Maddie at The Book Pusher, Ali Covera Books, and Julie at Pages and Pens. I will leave links to their TBR videos in the description box below, just in the off chance that you haven't seen those yet. There are seven challenges. I did pick seven books. I don't know if I'll read all seven of them. We're gonna find out together. The first challenge is to read a diverse fantasy. For that I chose The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan. I'm not sure how diverse this book is, but knowing Riordan it's very diverse. I do know that the main character is described as African American by Riordan himself. And yes, I do realize that this is technically mythology, not fantasy, but whatever. The second challenge is to read either a debut or a backlist title, and for that I chose The Novice by Taryn Mathrew. This is not only a backlist title that was published in 2015, but also Mathrew's debut novel. This book is about a boy who discovers that he is able to summon demons and leaves his hometown and goes to a school where they are training people to use their powers of summoning to fight a battle against some orcs or something. I don't know guys. It's been a long time since I bought this book and read the back of it and went, that sounds interesting. The third challenge is to either start or continue in a series and for that I chose Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass. I have not started the series obviously because this is the first book in the series. Again, I'm not really sure what the series is about. The only thing I've really heard on booktube is that it's about an assassin who never kills anyone. I don't, I don't know. But um, yeah, I just... I've been wanting to read the series for a long time. I own every book in the series, so I figured I might as well start now. The next challenge is to read a hype train fantasy, and for that I chose Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. I honestly don't know a lot about this series either. I don't know if there's magic or if it's just fantasy because it has a different fictional world than the one that we live in, uh, but I do know that it centers around some crooks, and it's a heist novel, and it has morally gray characters. That's about all I know. The fifth challenge is to read a book that you have set aside. For that I chose The Wrath and Adon by Renee Avier. I don't actually have any fantasy on my shelves that I have started reading and then set aside, but I have read Renee's other series, The Flame in the Mist and Smoke in the Sun, and I didn't necessarily love them, so this is kind of Renee's second chance for me. I love her personally, I follow her on social media, I really enjoy her as a person, but her writing style is not necessarily for me, so this is her second chance. Technically it's a third chance because I said I was never gonna read Smoke in the Sun and I did, but that's outside of the point. Next is to read a fantasy that is outside of your typical reading habits, i.e. if you always read YA you read adult or mid-grade, and if you always read a hardback you would read an audiobook or an ebook. For that I chose The Lost Coast by Amy Rose Capetta. This is an e-arc that I received from NetGalley, which means that I'll have to be reading it on my e-reader, which I don't really like to do. I'm not a huge e-reader person, which makes it an atypical format for me. I'm not completely sure what this book is about, but I did read the blurb and it did sound really interesting. It follows a group of girls who are witches and a boy comes to their town and he's found dead and I know there's just like some things going on. I was told that it's got some like the Wicked Deep vibes, so I'm interested. And the last challenge is to basically just immerse yourself into the world and pamper yourself while you are reading. For that I chose Witch Volume 4. It's Nerissa's of Revenge Part 2 Volume 1 but is Volume 4 of the entire series. I didn't number these things or name them, okay? They're just confusing. But it's got a 4 on the side so that means it's Volume 4. Okay. I chose this book because I always like to pick up either a graphic novel or a short children's story during a readathon to make me feel productive. And it's fantasy. I really like this series and it's one that I can just sit on the couch, snuggle with a blankie and my kitty cats and read fairly quickly and just feel productive and also good about myself. 
for finishing a book. So this is my TBR sans one for the Fantasy-a-thon. Let me know in the comments below if you are going to be partaking in the Fantasy-a-thon and if you have a TBR up please link me. I would love to check it out if you've read any of these and if you have any thoughts about them please let me know in the comments below because I would love to talk about them with you. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and bonus videos on the weekends as well. So until then I will see you guys next time.